This is Jacquard Loom, the first computer-like machine built in the 18th century. This groundbreaking machine was a precursor to modern computers. It could interpret punch cards to produce mesmerizing fabrics, transforming instructions fed into it into tangible products. This innovation not only ignited the flame for future computers, but also crowned France as the epicenter of the fashion world. This remarkable invention was merely a stepping stone in the long history of data and information. So sit back and prepare to embark on an extraordinary journey through the ages as we explore six pivotal moments that brought humanity to the dawn of information age. My name is Madhur. Let's get started. Information had its humble beginning in the form of most transformative and creative technology ever conceived. That technology was pictures. Before that, information resided solely in the human brain, passed down through generations via practical lessons, much like the way animals train their young. This method, while natural, was not particularly efficient in transferring knowledge over time. But with pictures, for the first time, information lay outside the human brain and could be shared with multiple groups of people who were separated by time and space. Think of stones as ancient data disks, with etch lines representing bits of data. This was a monumental shift in the evolution of information and it was used by humans as the only source of information storage for tens and thousands of years. Drawing pictures had its limitations. It was difficult to transfer complex ideas and required a large number of pictures which were open to interpretation. So, something had to change. This technology took a giant leap when someone thought of turning sounds into symbols. It reduced the number of symbols drastically and due to this, more and more people could learn and communicate using these symbols. It was fascinating because humans discovered that information could be changed from one form to another and can be stored physically. From mind to sound to words in a physical form. The humble word became a capsule of information encapsulating knowledge and ideas. For over 4000 years, writing remained the primary method of recording and transmitting information, serving as the cornerstone for human communication and understanding. In the 18th century, Lyon had become a center of silk production for European royalty. The patterns produced were intricate and it was a laborious activity to produce even an inch of cloth. The supply had stagnated and the demand was ever increasing. One of the mavericks of the time, Joseph Marie Jacquard, decided to solve this problem and designed a loom that automated this process of weaving patterns. It used punch cards to store and weave patterns. A punch card had holes in a specific pattern which allowed a particular set of needles to go through while blocking the others. A set of such punch cards was fed into the loom to produce high-quality patterns. This avoided complicated manual work and greatly improved efficiency. This innovation not only revolutionized the French weaving industry of that time, but also laid foundation for a more significant revolution that was going to hit the world a century later, computing. The loom design had the following first. It showed that a single machine can be programmed to execute work depending on the input, which meant the hardware and instructions can be separated for reusability. Secondly, information can be stored in binary format in the forms of holes and blanks. This method of storage was a significant breakthrough in the history of computing as it would allow more efficient data storage and processing. For thousands of years, information traveled at the pace its owner could carry it. Sometimes, the information took days to reach the recipient, and by that time, the scenario would have changed, rendering the information useless. This was set to change with the invention of electricity and the ingenuity of a painter and his friend who was a machinist. Samuel Morse, along with his partner Alfred Weil, created a code that could be used to transmit alphabets over electric lines through a series of dots and blanks. The first successful transmission of the Morse code happened in 1944 when the following message was transmitted from Washington to Baltimore. With this advancement, information took another leap. Now, it could travel across continents at the speed of light. Yet again, information changes form from the physical realm to the electromagnetic realm, slowly inching towards the information technology revolution. 
1930s was the time when the word computer was used to refer to a person whose job was to crunch numbers manually. Big businesses had rows of computers sitting all day processing numbers. At the end of the manual calculation came the stage where the reviewers used to recalculate the numbers so that they could be committed to the records. As the businesses grew, the madness grew as well, but not for long. At the age of 24, a young PhD student by the name of Alan Turing published a paper. In this paper, he explored the option of replacing human computers with a machine that can mimic what goes on in a human's mind. He argued that no intelligence or thinking is required to do calculations and that the machine has to follow a set of instructions. Turing's groundbreaking work laid the foundation for the development of the modern computer and his ideas continue to shape the field of computing even today. Turing laid out a complete blueprint for a machine that could replace human computers with machine computers. It had the components common to the phones, laptops and microwaves of today. From an in-memory state to program storage to read-write units. This paper had a profound impact on the development of computers and the dawn of information age. While the experienced engineers of the time were trying to solve the problem of sending analog signals over long distances, a young engineer at Bell Labs was busy writing a landmark paper. In his paper, he proposed something which would single-handedly usher in the age of information. He suggested that the voice can be converted to a sequence of binary digits in short bits and can be carried over long distances with virtually no loss. He also proposed that any information, be it an image, a text or a video, can be converted, stored and transmitted in digital format. He also introduced the world to the concept of compression, which formed the basis of JPEGs, ZIP files, etc. The idea established the relationship between the expectedness and information. To break it down, it said if there is no change between two frames of the video, there is basically no information in the second frame and hence it can be compressed without loss of information. His paper did not just include the theory, but he also proved what he theorized. The practical implementation of his concepts took years, but it has now become the basis of how we store and process information. With this, he managed to translate a vague idea or information into something measurable in bits. What an atom is to matter, a bit is to information. It was this profound. For his enormous contribution to the field, Claude Shannon was given the title of Father of Information Age. With these foundational pieces in place, it was only a matter of time before technology evolved to create computers that would implement these concepts and usher humanity into the dawn of the information age. This is the story of how information evolved, transforming the ways humans communicate and share knowledge. And this story is far from over. Great minds around the world push the limits every day, turning today's summit into tomorrow's stepping stone. Thank you for joining me on this incredible journey through the history of information. If you like this content, please subscribe me by liking and subscribing. Until next time, stay curious, stay data driven.